Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2019 career mode here today for the Austrian Grand Prix and part number 30. I can't believe we've gone through 29 episodes that quick. Well, not quick, but you know what I mean. I'm um, sorry that this video is out a little bit later. I've been very, very busy lately. So I've been struggling to find time to edit these videos. Um, if you missed the last video in France, do check that one out before you see this one. It was a very good race. I'll leave it at that. But here into Austria, if you were around on the channel this um, this time last season at Austria, you'll know we had an absolutely mental battle with Pierre Gasly. And you know, I titled that video, We Deserve a Red Bull Seat. And 21 races on, look where we are. But we're here in qualifying, and Austria, I do like Austria, it's a good track. Um, doing our first run, our second one, sorry, and we go fastest in Q1, which is good. You know, we've kind of been there, supposedly the Red Bull is the quickest, is the quickest car on the grid. So there you can see the car's out in Q1 into Q2 now and I tried to get through on the medium tyres but you know I'm I'm just not quick on, on the mediums to be honest so we've gone P5 we are gonna have to go again and I actually carried on on that lap but made a massive mistake so bailed on this lap you can see we've gone green in the first sector purple in the middle sector now we're gonna cross the line and we're gonna go P4 and that is Q2 now into the important stuff and the nail biting stuff into Q3 our first run puts us into P3 and now the final run we've gone we're up in the first sector we're purple in the middle sector can we get our first pole position of the series yes we can we have got pole at the Red Bull ring in a Red Bull We've conquered Ferrari and Alpha, Mercedes are nowhere. Let's get into this Austrian Grand Prix. Styrian mountains, of course, and they've watched over some cracking races throughout the history of this Grand Prix. Controversy, of course, think back to 2002, but also great joy. Do you remember Nicky Lauda's historic home victory in 1984? The Spielberg circuit then is situated 700 metres above sea level, with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of 2.6 miles, with the best overtaking chances into Turn 1 or the tight uphill Turn 3. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel and Norris, Kubica, Hamilton, Hulkenberg and Pierre Gasly. Weber, Perez, Alexander Albon and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Russell, Devon Butler and Lance Stroll, Ricardo and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. So strategy is going to be a one stop from the soft to the mediums, but let's get into this race. We've got some planning to do at the start as the five red lights go out here in Austria, we get a good getaway, we've got to defend the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc into Turn 1, but he's left defending Valtteri Bottas, and we've absolutely bolted at the start here, we can't, we're kind of away and broken away from the slip three, Bottas is second, the Ferrari is in third, I think that's Verstappen in the background, or actually is Charles Leclerc battling I think away with the other alpha of Sebastian Vettel, there's, I think there was instances further back, you may have seen the green light flashing. As skipping on, this is the second lap, what an exciting start to the race. Roman Grosjean's engine blows in the back of that horse. So Ferrari, the other cars running the Ferrari engine, especially the Ferrari works team, going to be kind of biting their nails, hoping that it doesn't happen to them. 
on laps here, Grosjean is out of this Grand Prix. As we skip on, you can see the gap that we pulled out. Bottas there is up into P2. And here comes Charles Leclerc. Sorry, it is Max Verstappen. Round the outside, there's the yellow flags because of Grosjean. And he gets the job done, does Max Verstappen. Bottas though isn't going to have any of that. In the background, Charles Leclerc is fending off the other alpha of Sebastian Vettel. And they're going to have to lead out for another lap. But there goes Max Verstappen down the inside into that second to last corner. It's not really an overtaking place that. But he gets the job done. And now Bottas is going to be left defending Charles Leclerc in the other Ferrari. Here comes Charles. He isn't quite close enough. Bottas does wonders there defensively. And fair play to him. That is very, very well defended. As this is us on lap four. Or lap six rather. And we're just kind of sitting here. You can see there was actually battles going on behind. You may have seen Verstappen retake that position. But Bottas is really overtaking Verstappen somewhere. And Verstappen, I think he's eyeing up another move to the inside, you know. As here he comes, he's right on the back. He's practically pushing Bottas round Austria and down the inside goes Max Verstappen, he hasn't got it done as quick this time, down the inside into the final corner, gets the job done, Bottas has been pushed wide and now it's going to have to deal with Charles Leclerc, is Leclerc is on his outside and now trying to go right round the outside at turn one, goes Charles Leclerc, Verstappen's bolted away and they're still side by side, they've both got Ferrari power remember, so in a straight line they're going to be equal into that turn 3 and I can't quite see Bottas is just ahead but Charles is on the racing line so he's going to get the better exit and he's just about past Bottas Bottas is not giving up but eventually he has to and that puts him down into P4 and it's now a Ferrari 2-3 as here comes Charles Leclerc He's thinking about a move on his teammate, but he needs to look behind him as here comes Valtteri Bottas round the outside. This is actually Le um, Verstappen, sorry. Leclerc's got Verstappen somewhere, and now Verstappen's just falling back. And there goes Valtteri Bottas down the inside. That's a great move. Skipping on. This is Charles Leclerc now. His Bottas is getting past. Verstappen just fell back and here comes Bottas side by side and he blitzes past that Ferrari. Is Leclerc going to have anything to fight back with? I don't think he has. And that's very disappointing for Leclerc. But I'm sure he'll, get, he'll try and get him back somewhere. It's very, because the track is so short, it's so hard to break away from cars that you're quicker than. Because the, obviously there is the free DRS zone, so you kind of got to get it done in that middle sector to pull away. And if you're not quick in that middle sector, then you're kind of left battling the same car all race long. You can see the gap that we're pulling out. It's around five seconds. And here comes Charles Leclerc once again on the outside, round the outside into turn one. There's contact there, I think. Bottas had to correct some oversteer as we skip on a, some more laps and it's time for the pit stops as, as Leclerc has re-overtaken Bottas and whether Vettel Verstappen carries on and into the pits they come they're going to be putting on the medium compound tyres skipping on some more laps here this is us making our stop and coming out of the pits retaining the lead I did extend this in a couple of laps because on the um, the Delta it was saying that I'd come out around P14 as round the outside goes Bottas on Charles Leclerc and now Leclerc's going back down Bottas is inside down the inside into the final corner he pushes Bottas wide but Bottas is still there he's not giving up but eventually he has to I think he's going to try and go back to the outside but he couldn't quite do it there. Now he's going to hold on as in the background here. This is Gasly getting past Max Verstappen. I don't know what happened to Verstappen really. Obviously he was second and then he just dropped like an absolute stone. As there goes Gasly past Max Verstappen. 
and on to the second to last lap the penultimate lap out of the race goes Robert Kubica he was on for his first points of the season he was comfortably in seventh place in the points and he's out on the, on the penultimate lap as round the final corner we've dominated Austria and we're going to make it free on the bounce Canada France and now Austria and what a way to go into our home Grand Prix in just a week's time or a couple of days. Fantastic victory for Red Bull today. Tell me Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say Crofty but fast cars win races and we saw that today with our winner. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. So Bottas did actually get the clear in the end. We're actually now top of the driver's standings, which is good. Only by four points ahead of Leclerc. We're still second in the constructors. As you can see, the driver's in a bit more detail. And now the constructors, 29 points behind Ferrari we are. Back into the paddock. There was an interview with Claire, but I feel like we got to the point where interviews don't really matter and she just ends up asking you stupid questions. Like, I think she asked me one about hitting the wall. I didn't hit one wall the entire weekend, let alone in the race. So, I don't know. I might put... If we, had a, if we have a bad race, then I might put the Claire interviews in. Other than that, I probably won't. R&D, we've got two upgrades coming for Silverstone. And we've got a fairly worn engine after Austria. I mean, it didn't... It didn't... Um, harm us obviously we still won the race we absolutely dominated that weekend um, but I hope you enjoyed this video um, sorry it's a little bit late it's just just a day I've been very very busy I've been trying to edit some and I'm gonna try and edit a load so you will have them at the normal Wednesday and Sunday half four time There'll be Silverstone out at the weekend and then I might do another Classic Academy video before we head into the German Grand Prix in the career so let me know what you want to see but until the next one in Silverstone, goodbye. <laughs>